Oh, I just got these in. How cool are they? Really sturdy. There's like a lead, harness, and also little tags that go there. It is a glorious day today. It's like the hottest day in spring, about 30 degrees. So we're gonna go for a walk. Do not mind the state of this room. I'm clearing boxes. I sold some bags recently, which you guys know I do sometimes. Um, and this is what happens. My room gets in a mess. So we're just taking a very simple crossbody um, mini Palm Springs backpack. Always a nice little one. It's waterproof. That's what I like about it because of the coating. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head in the car and go for a walk around the lake. I'm with the cutest dog in the world. This is Ava. Her ears are the most beautiful ears that I've ever seen. Ava, show us your ears. Can you show everyone your teethers? No? Decide to close your mouth as soon as I turn the camera on. Are you camera shy? Can't touch the bottom. Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out Out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with fed away like bones Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Good harness. This is one of my favorite bits. This lifts up, can't do it left handed, and it kind of opens. And then you lock it in place by pushing it down so it will never come off. Now it seems oh so cute. You are so well behaved. How'd I wind up so far from? Now it is the next day and I've got so much static, I don't know why, but my hair is like sticking to my neck. But what a difference it makes when you have a shower. I dyed my hair this morning. Um, I'm wearing this dress for the very first time. It's just a white shirt dress. I'll show you. Excuse the mess in this room. So here is the dress. I love it because it has pockets. It's three quarter. I actually got it shortened because it was a little bit longer and I'm a shorty. Um, it has a nice tie around here. It's quite loose and big around the body and has this kind of oversized feel. But let me tell you guys, I was out for maybe 10 minutes today. Out, I went to the bank, I walked down the street, I had to go fix something um, at a repair shop and I was stopped three times by three different people, all female, and they all told me how great my outfit was, how beautiful my outfit was, how amazing I looked today, and let me tell you, it just made my day. You know when you're, you've been sort of, I've been down in the dumps a little bit over the past week or two, you know, and I just haven't been feeling myself, and today I had tanned yesterday, so I was all tanned and beautiful, and... It just made my day, so thank you to those people that said that to me because it went a long way. I also blow dried my hair a little bit different today. I blow dried it forward, so it's sort of covering my face a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I'm trying not to over curl my hair, so I'm trying to go with more of a loose kind of curl. Still working on it. Look at all these boxes. It is ridiculous. Let me explain to you what's going on here. So... When I receive bags, I do the video, I do the unboxing, and then I do the actual review video. And then once I do the review video and I've filmed it, I put the box over here because the bag goes on my shelf, as you guys know. So this has been stacking up over the past couple of weeks. That's right, only the past couple of weeks. Then 
if I sell a bag, I actually have all my existing boxes in here. And this whole front row is filled with all these boxes. You can see around the corner there. Um, and then, so I label all of these so that I know what's inside the box because I stack them inside each other to save space. And I do that um, so that it's really easy when someone buys a bag off me, I can actually see where the box is and pull the right box for that bag and ship it off. And sometimes when I do that, I need to reorganize the boxes again. So hence why there are even more boxes here. See this one down here, it's already got a label on it, which means I've pulled it from the cupboard, I've taken a box out and then I have to relabel it. Then I have to restack all these. So I'm gonna have to do that sometime, but it's just ridiculous. Also got the wedding gowns here. <sighs> I don't know what to do with this guys. I really don't. I've got nine boxes in my garage of wedding gowns. And wedding gowns are not something that is easy to sell because you've got to find the perfect one for the perfect person. They don't want to just buy it online. They want to come in and try it on. I don't really have an open studio or anything like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to do something with them though. So we'll see. Maybe I can give them to like a theatre production company or something. Um, and then they can just, you know, have a lot of dresses to have as outfits for costumes i don't know so it has been a full day today i haven't i've been a really bad youtuber and i haven't um been vlogging at all i was inspired the other day by a tiktok you guys probably have the same thing happen to you where you're inspired by a tiktok and then you decide to make the food in the tiktok that's what i'm doing today i'm doing a roasted it's like going to be so hard to explain and the lights aren't even on um maybe if i do this no that didn't make any difference so you might be able to see in there i've put in some zucchini which i think is courgette in another language i mean no, <laughs> i think in the uk or america it's called courgette but in australia we call them zucchinis um and i've got tomatoes in there i've got garlic and some olive oil and I'm gonna roast them and then I'm gonna make and then I'm gonna make like a whipped feta and cream cheese kind of dip for it you kind of lay it on a plate and drizzle it all, all over I don't know we'll see I was feeling a bit adventurous but I'm starting to feel non-adventurous now and I wish it was done because I'm really hungry and then I'm gonna put some sourdough and I'm gonna dip it all right, it is an absolute mess. And you guys never see this side of the camera. This is where I normally film my bag videos. Um, and I sort of set up some lights and I sit there and all these bags are ones that I have to film. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, so yeah, I do have a little bit of work to do. So that is a day in the life. And I'm doing my hair a little bit differently today. I didn't want to, I wanted to take a break from all the curls and I'm just, I don't know, I was trying to go with the blowout kind of feel, but I can't do it properly. Um, I don't like doing it with a blow dryer because I'm not good at it. So. All right, I just finished filming a couple of videos. Um, this bag, which was absolutely gorgeous from the row, absolutely loving it. Uh, and I also filmed this one, which is the pink sequence. So if you guys want to see the review, the unboxing of those, head to my channel and you can view them there um and now i'm going to get ready for my massage i'm gonna have a little bit of a chill out might have something to eat uh and i'm sort of getting ready for my massage which is happening in about an hour because let me tell you the headaches have been real and i don't know what it is it might be my increase in screen time um i've been working on some marketing strategies recently and oh my god my my head is just screaming um every second day i'm pretty much on the lounge watching tv because i can't do anything else because my brain is just not working the pain behind my eyes is real i can feel this throbbing of a migraine it's just really bad so i yeah i'm definitely getting it checked um to see why it's increased so much and what i can do to kind of manage it i already take migraine tablets and i was on the max dose of those and I've decided to wean off them a little bit because I don't feel like they're doing anything because I'm still getting the headaches. So we will see. Um, 
so anyway i just thought i'd take you guys with me um i know we went for a dog walk yesterday and just thought it was time to do a bit of a day in the life give you guys an update um you can see here i kind of stack my bags really badly above that that row because this is what you see on camera so me being lazy because i'm a shorty i don't want to put things up too high or else i can't reach them i put bags that i don't really touch up there whereas the ones that i reach for i kind of need to put here also some of them are in my shop so that's why um i sort of leave them like that so that i can easily grab them and pack them if i need to but yes so i'm gonna sit at my desk which is basically just behind um the ring lights and the, and the space that i film in so really kind of nice office space i find that this, this is probably the biggest office space i've ever had it's like a really big lounge room kind of area that I kind of use as my office because it's the first room in the house when you come in from outside. And then I have my living room in there and my kitchen. Um, and that's where I kind of rest at the end of the day and, you know, chill out and zen. Um, and there's a beautiful little atrium in there too, which I'm going to renovate. So I'm going to show you. So that's my living area. It's a little bit untidy, but this is the atrium, which is original. But I'm going to paint it all. I'm going to remove this turf. I'm going to try and do something with these pots. And it's going to be all finished. I hope that I'll be able to do it before Christmas. Because I've got a party happening here. And I want it to be really nice and beautiful. And I want to put furniture out there. So people can sit and talk. And all that type of stuff. It's probably a 3 by 4 meter space. So it's not huge. But it's definitely big enough to open out. And put some furniture in there. And sit and enjoy. 